Excuse me, I'd like to check out this book. Hmm, this sure is a complicated book. Are you sure you want to read this? Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, we just don't get too many people in here checking this out. Very well, here you are. Enjoy. Thanks. In the beginning, much like the rest of this page, there was nothing. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw it, and it was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome, and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters were gathered together he called seas. And God saw it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be light in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years, and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves, of every kind, with which the waters swarm, and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. So God created humankind in God's image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. And on the seventh day, God blessed the work that he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it, God rested from all the work he had done in creation.